Okay, this is example eight in our applications of calculus topic. We're looking at related rates. So there is a previous example, example seven, which uh, introduces this particular uh, topic. So here we've got a, a, an issue here of a cylindrical tank. And we can say that we've got some kind of cylindrical tank and it's filled with water to a certain level. And here we'll say water level, looks like that. Uh, it's filled at a rate of two litres per second. How fast does the water level rise? So we've got some kind of water level. And in terms of the cylinder, we've got a, a cylinder of water. We'll call the water level the height H. We know that the diameter of the cylinder is fixed at uh, 20 centimetres. So that's both the, the physical uh, cylinder tank, but also the cylinder of water has a fixed diameter of 20 centimetres. So we've got a situation, sometimes drawing a picture does help. Um, remember with related rates, we're trying to find what the, the end game is, what, uh, what derivative are we actually looking for, what rate of change are we looking for. We're looking how fast does the water level rise, that's the rate of change of height. In other words, we're looking for, if we're calling h uh, our, the height of the water, we're looking for the change of height over time. And that's our uh, end game. <coughs> uh, because of that, then, we need to create two fractions here. And we're going to put dh on the numerator, dt on the denominator, and we're going to introduce a, another variable and two related rates. And we're given some information here. Uh, if we have a look up at the, uh, it's filled at a rate, what's filled? The tank is filled at a rate of two litres per second. So that's the volume. The tank is being filled with water. So the volume, <coughs> and that's a rate of change. So the change in volume over time is two litres per second. And that kind of matches up litres per second volume per time. So we've got dv by dt uh, is 2 litres per second. Uh, we're dealing in uh, uh, centimetres in the dimensions of our cylinder, so uh, we could convert that to 2,000 cubic centimetres per second. That's probably more useful. Now, if we're using dv by dt, then dv is the missing part of our related rates. Okay. And we've already declared that dv uh, by dt is 2,000. Now, remember that 2,000 is a positive number. It means it's increasing and being filled. If the tank was at losing volume, if the water was running out, uh, it would be a negative 2,000 cubic centimetres. So what we've got to do now is to come up with an expression or a value for dh by dv. We're looking for some kind of uh, function that connects V and H. And usually in these kind of things, it's a formula. And of course, we do have a formula for the volume of a cylinder. Volume is the area of the cross section multiplied by its height. So V equals pi r squared H. So we can get dV by dH, um, where H is a variable, which means that R is a constant. Um, and we know that R is fixed here at 10 centimetres. So we could say, we could even put straight away uh, the fact that, well, let's just do the differentiation first. It just becomes pi R squared. If we differentiate H, uh, differentiates to one. So our derivative is pi R squared. And in actual fact, uh, the, the radius is fixed at 10 centimetres. So it's not a variable. So effectively, we're just dealing with 100 pi. So dv by dh is 100 pi. We're looking for dh by dv, so we're having to use 1 over 100 pi. So we can say dh by dt is 1 over 100 pi. So that's dh by dv, the inverse of it. And that simplifies to 2,000 over 100 pi. Notice that we can... Uh, that becomes 20 over pi. Notice that that is a constant term. In other words, the change uh, in water level, it's rising at a constant rate, 
it's not dependent on uh, any variable. So dH by dt is uh, 20 pi every centimeters per second, and it's positive value, so it's increasing. Uh, that works out around about six, uh, six and a bit uh, centimeters per second if you were uh, rounding it uh, in terms of a decimal. Uh, so the water level rises at, we'll just keep it as an exact value, 20 over pi centimetres per second. Okay, So there we've got a, a way of working out the uh, change in the water level from these two other related rates. Okay, so One other example you can check out um, and I hope that it all makes sense.